Hey y'all, it's Bomber at Bomber's Garage. Here is our garage chore part two, our office and media room edition. Sit back and enjoy. Appreciate y'all. Hey y'all, it's Bomber at Bomber's Garage. This is part two. This is my underground, overground, fourth floor, emergency fire door, secret door, entrance to my office and media room. Come on. That's when I was running for president. So first off, this is the yellow hutch area. I found this beautiful yellow hutch worth thousands of dollars on the streets of Jack's Beach. And then uh, my buddy Cadre Joel threw it in the back of his pickup truck, took it over, moved it into the house on my longboard over there. So we've got our bourbons and rums and a selection of shooters and such. This found down here, a trash find or marketplace find. So I've got some of my old PBR bottles and stuff like that up there. And then some of my other vintage bottles and such there. Over here, some of my favorite patches from when I did uh, Go Ruck and work for them. And then my Tough Mudders and stuff. And then some of my jingly janglies from marathons and half marathons and running and such. <clears throat> this is another yellow hutch. This is the yellow area here. So I've got a lot of my military coins. Uh, I got a few stuff from my barber shop down here. My pipe collection. And then just various trinkets, cars. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Like this was my dad's coffee cup here. And then this is uh, his transistor radio. And there's a couple other things in the mix there that was his as well. Uh, and fun fact, Miller, during Hill Hurricane Katrina, they uh, brought sent bottled water down to Katrina in 40s. And then when folks found out that it was water, not beer, they smashed a bunch of them. And I ended up with one of them. So I guess they should have sent beer. This is where we do our photographs of apparel, stuff like that. Um, taking t-shirts, anything like that, and also do some of the parts and stuff like that for stuff that I'll list for sale. Coming over here, this is a super cool, oops, said super cool, hanging light that's gonna go over here that we found on Marketplace that I just think is really, really freaking awesome. They don't make stuff cool like that anymore. <clears throat> Picked up this little hutch on Marketplace. Inside of here, we have some B-52 gauges that my buddy Will, that his uncle Jamie gave me that are for a future project. And those things, I mean, they just look, I mean, super rad. Got a couple of C-10 gauges in here. This one is especially cool. This came out of a dump truck and this C-10 gauge and this one are very similar, but this one has air pressure and then the RPM gauge. So always wanted to get a C10 with airbags to where I could have that air pressure gauge working. So that's on the list for stuff down the, uh, down the road. These are gonna go on Millie. So back in the day in Michigan and a couple other states, instead of getting stickers like you do now to update your license plate, your license plate would have the date on it, and then they would ship you these, and you would put these from your 62 to 63 license plate. I thought those were pretty cool. Have a couple other gauges in here. This one is awesome. It is a Don Gartlett's gauge that I picked up from Matt uh, in um, Iron Trap Garage. I talked to Joel today. That's coming in a minute at Nobody Customs. Uh, he's on my mind uh, today. But this came from Matt, and it's really, really cool at Iron Trap, Iron Trap Garage. And then this is a little uh, wrench that I kind of cleaned up and refurbished that was pretty rusty not long ago. I thought it would look cool in there. My buddy Jay found this deer hunting. This has to go. More mileage, more pep, more power. Your car has to go with has to go. And this is from Hastio Laboratories in Monroe, Louisiana. So he found this in the woods. No telling how long it had been sitting there. Um, the label on the back is kind of off of it, but I thought it was in fantastic shape. And Monroe, for those of you to, that do not know, 
That is where like Duck Commander is, so Phil Robertson and all of them. I have another little hutch here that was a uh, on the side of the road find. <clears throat> this is a really cool lamp that Will Jordan made me for the last bash we did, the 10th anniversary bash in um, Louisiana. And he kind of did it to honor the bash and me being a Marine and use the Kevlar like I use in the little grenade. Got a few pieces of artwork up here. I've got a, quite a bit of stuff from James Clements in Shreveport. Um, he did those paintings. Uh, Bug still uh, sign and paint. Did this one for the bash up here. And then this is half the instructions for the first time I deployed um, a Claymore, which was a lot of fun. Claymore's at the Shizzy. So my secondary MOS in the Marine Corps was demolition. Up here's just a few pictures of my dad, me in the Marine Corps, and you know, little Marine Corps, I love me wall. This area is my cigar smoking area. I've got my pipe tobacco and extra ashtrays and stuff down there. These curtains, which are cool, were my childhood curtains in my bedroom. So we put them down here, had them cleaned, and then they have the like rubber heavy duty back so they darken stuff. And this is the, uh, my mom did this quilt, or Afghan, excuse me, did this one years ago. And I thought it would look cool on this chair. And then this red, white, and blue is one that we picked up at a, um, garage sale that was going on for cheap that is cool over here got a lot of the americana stuff like the you know big 1776 revolutionary war stuff love these with the concave mirrors they're cool george and martha the federal eagles that's pretty awesome here we have another cabinet found on the side of the road actually this one and the one in the corner found on the same day there is a guitar that belongs to Lindsay that she won that is signed by who? Blake Shelton. Blake Shelton. Blake Shelton signed that. That's my Martin. And then this is my mandolin. And mandolins have a lot of strings. There's a lot going on. And then a banjo a buddy sent me. This is my prayer area, my prayer table, um, where I have my candles, have my incense. One day I'll tell you, I first got the incense in there and I hadn't used those before. Light up the incense. I'm sitting there reading my Bible, doing my praying. Lindsay comes down, and unbeknownst to me, there's like a six, eight inch fog of incense in here in the ceiling. And so the scripture about incense carries prayers to heaven. She's like, What's going on? What is all this smoke? And I'm like, Oh no, the prayers are trapped in the basement. We got to open a window and let Jesus get to them. So we opened a window and let him get out. So I've learned not to use so much of that. This is a table that Lindsay's mom, our, our tabletop, her mom gave us, that this is super rare space wood, fell down from earth in a meteorite, and they carved this out, and then we put it on the sewing machine stand. Super cool little, oh, and this table was another $20. Well, this one was $20, I didn't find it, but I thought it looked cool and looked really nice for the, um, for the prayer station. This is another one Lindsay found a cigar uh, and magazine rack, and this has a little copper, so you put your cigars in there. And I thought this was super, super cool. This is gonna be one that I'm gonna be stripping down and refinishing, because it does have some of the, uh, you know, some stain and needs some love on it, but it's really nice. It's a Black Panther. Anyone who watches Ron Burgundy knows about this. That's enough about that. There's the Louisiana emblem from 1944. Another uh, sign that Bug did for me at the old garage that is super, super cool. Love it. Some Marine Corps stuff. An eagle James did. There's an American. Um, that goes in one of the stand-up old school glass um, gas pumps that my cousin Bank gave me. Bob that worked at Great Raft Brewery gave me that There's No Place Like Home 318. <clears throat> and then the Shreveport Captains were the double-A team that were in Shreveport for like 100 years. And then lo and behold, hockey put them out of business. This is my podcast table that Lindsay and I scored for our super good deal. It's really awesome. I've got a few more things I got to finish on it and to update my computers. I'm going to start doing some 
They're going to be vlogs. They're definitely going to be video, but they will have the capability to do podcasts because I'm very visual. I like the vlogs, the video ones over. Listen to that. Uh, Dogtown Skateboard, some more artwork up here. Um, and then this is a really cool one of the brewery in Shreveport. Another cigarette stand or a smoking stand. Lindsay found this one, surprised me with this one. It is cool. There are two matchbooks in here, uh, both of them from New Orleans, which is was a special treat to get these uh, in there. And then this really cool uh, lighter. So this one is missing the ashtrays. I'm actually going to make some with a press. And then there's the little portable uh, ashtrays for it. This lawyer's desk was my dad's. Need to recoat it with oil. It's set for years and years and years in pieces and him and I put it together and I've had it for ever and I'm not sure how long he's had it. He said as long as he could remember. He passed away in 92 and I just it's my favorite piece. I love it. This one is really cool. Uh, Lindsay found it on a marketplace post and it was like free Come get this, and I've actually got this here. I saved it. Free. Hopefully goes to a good home. It was my grandparents. So once I got it down here and put a lot of my favorite books and stuff, and it has this little area for whiskey, bourbon, whatever, I have some makers marked in there. Um, I sent her a picture and was like, hey, this went to a good home. Here it is, it's on display, and kind of showed her the area it was, and she was like, it made her super happy. So, her grandparents went to a good home. Got a fish I caught in 84, back in Louisiana. Um, and then my dad took me on my birthday in 74 to Destin, Florida, and he gave me that little plaque for catching my first king mackerel, and that mackerel was taller than me. A wood duck I uh, found, or I uh, killed, Antlers I found, another antler, a painting my uncle did, um, another painting one of my dad's friends gave me. This desk came from a auction at Barksdale Air Force Base. I picked it up, and every day I am definitely hustling. Got this cool vintage lamp. This is where I do all my computer work, all that good stuff. We found this pheasant for like $60. Uh, dollars or 65, 60, and there's pheasants all around us, and I've never been around pheasants unless you buy the pheasant to shoot, but wild pheasants, and it looked like it needed to be down here, so we got that. Uh, have my monitor, right now I'm editing some stuff on YouTube. Back over here, my dad's name was Al, and this is an Al's Barbershop neon sign that I eventually want to get working and have that when I get my barbershop set up and I thought that was cool that had my dad's name. This cool little windmill, the aero motor, um, my dad had installed one of those, and he picked up that small one and gave it to me, and it's from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. And that is my dad, one of my dad's suitcases. I lost most of his stuff in a warehouse fire where he uh, lost his building. Uh, all the service records for all of my vehicles. Um, and then just over here, I've got these two champion hats that Eagle gave me. One was signed uh, by Dell Sr. Uh, that's a story we've covered on the podcast with him. Then Vita Blue was a Louisiana pitcher, and I used to collect the baseball cards off the bottom of Hostess Twinkies when that was a thing. And I ended up bidding for this and getting it, and it is the proofs for those. And he's from Mansfield, Louisiana, which is not far from my hometown in Louisiana. And then all my skateboards, I still have more of those that I hadn't put up. Lindsay found this chair, that chair, and these uh, two all at the same place, I think, right? Mm -hmm. This chair is super cool, has the Americana stuff, it's freaking awesome. This table and the other one, I picked those back up in Louisiana at an antique store. This uh, sofa, which has now become Lily's, um, is a fold-out bed. It'll eventually get replaced with that. Lily is my mom's cat. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, I keep stuff kind of private family-wise or whatever, but my mom had broke her hip 
Uh, she's going through some rehab. She's in the early stages of dementia and some having some issues with her, kind of keep that stuff close to my heart. Um, so we've got Lily and Lily is down here guarding uh, my office and stuff. So she's a little sweet uh, cat who's adjusting to Louisiana. This green chair came in that also. And this, uh, the orange little chair, I love this thing. It has a little daisy on it. Just a design of that is uh, super cool. This came to the house. This, uh, Lily gets more camera time than anybody. This came with the house, this air hockey, it's going away. So I've been using it for storage and to work off of. I've also got a bunch of our apparel down here um, in storage because there's not a lot going on here with our cruise ins and car shows that we do in the summer. So brought them down here for they'll be in a climate controlled area. So gonna be selling this and have more room for my lights there and also have the lights where I can move them over to when we're doing the vlogs. These are super cool. Picked up, keep saying super cool. This is like the whole green area. So, and this happened by mistake. These two we picked up. Then this chair randomly found it, which is green. And then Will Jordan and I had, when they were visiting, we found this on the side of the road in the trash, this green table. And it's actually been cut in two and has a yardstick in it. I've had this green Emerson fan forever, and I have no idea where it came from. I'm also doing a little sewing here, but I like that this whole area here is green, and this is a PSA for all the Yankee folk watching. I don't have an accent. Y'all do. Have this nice little wooden toolbox, um, the machinist box that I got that I keep some of my, my dad's fancier tools. He was an architect and he had some stuff that I just store in there. Uh, this is my friend Whit that used to come to the Bomber Bash. She's Miss Bomber Bash one year. My buddy Will Tuft, he did all of the photographs of her and then we framed them and that's Alice in various stages. That's before she was chopped and then those are pictures of her chopped. So there is one more thing over here I didn't want to show. Um, this, I'm eventually going to put some chairs here where while I'm at the desk, people can sit here and we can do oh, desk things, things that are desk. I also have this one. I'm probably going to put that in between there. So it'll just be a little small setting area where when I'm doing that work there. And then we have like our extra stickers. But over here, I've got a couple of, I'm building a bar in our home. And I've got all of these old clocks and radios, got a few of those up. Uh, radios, oh my goodness. <laughs> clocks and lights. I now have to find one with a radio <laughs> in it. But those are going to go up there. I've got them. But this is cool. We found at one of the places that we go to an antique store, this concrete horse uh, head and thought it looked cool. But this plow is made, it was made in Texas. And this was my grandfather's plow. And he used to plow the fields in Louisiana with a mule and this plow. Well, once they end up getting tractors, of course, they didn't, you know, no need in that. And the set for years and years and years, they ended up giving that to me. I'm going to do a video one day because I want to oil down that wood and um, put some linseed oil on the plow and everything. But the place that made those plows is so old that even during the Civil War, they made cannons and cannonballs. Uh, then went back to making plows. So they've been around a long time. This pole here is eventually going to get covered with some nice wood. And this like light blue grayish color is very neutral, is nice. But eventually I'd like to take a section at a time and do a stained wood uh, wainscoat with some trim on it and then paint the top of the walls dark green. And just because it's new construction overhead, I'm going to leave the drop ceiling. But we're going to do some paint to make this more look like a uh, an older office or older style office, if that makes sense. So this is where I do a lot of my work, my reading, praying, photographing, stuff like that. And I really like it. I am blessed that Lindsay took a very extremely small office, though her office Sometimes I think it's way cooler than mine, but this is a great place to set and, uh, you know, and hang out and study and Lily approves. So thanks for watching part two. Real quick, I didn't want to give a shout out here. 
Um, I talked to Joel at Nobody Customs this morning, and he had lost his mom a couple of days ago. And he's traveling. So that had me a little bit off today thinking about her and the situation with my mom. So nobody and all your family, we love you. God bless y'all. Thanks, y'all.